I got poked in the nose with a welding stick. Okay, 1.30 in the morning. Holy crap. It is way bad out here. Like, it is... Wow. Are you ready for adventure? Subscribe now because we're getting ready for the great Siberian sushi run. So one of the things Janice has really wanted me to do is now that we have rails up is to get our canvas back up in the back of the boat. The problem with this is, is everything requires something else to be done before that's done. In this particular case, I've got all my snaps still originally in around the top of the rear section of deck here that I can attach all of the canvas. However, I don't have any of the bottom snaps in because this is all new paneling on the bottom. What I have to do is get this back into the proper location. Before we pulled all this apart, there were support beams back here in the back that kind of held the back of this up a little bit. We don't have those anymore. So what I've got to do is I've got to reproduce those. And what I've done is I've reproduce them out of stainless steel. Janice will end up covering these with, uh, I think she wants to do a rope, some sort of a rope wrap on them. But these are going to sit in this area and they're going to support the back corner of the upper deck. But I've got to make sure all my angles are correct uh, and I've got to make sure that I've got this height correct as well that, that the, uh, the top sits at before I pin any of my snaps in on the bottom because obviously that's going to affect my uh, the tightness of the, the canvas coming up. So that's my project for today. Hopefully it'll go quickly and easily, but I know better than to assume that. So here we go. Okay, I have been on shore all day. I'm convinced. And what have you been doing? I'm convinced it's the last day of summer today. You think today is? It is October 7th. Yeah. And it is so hot out that people are actually swimming off their boat in Todd Inlet right now. Silly people. But Blaine has been, why am I so far away from you with this chair? Oh. I'm like, what the, what the I Didn't realize you hated me. Did you have your girlfriend on board while I was gone or something? Mm, not for long. Not for long, move over a bit. Uh, like weird. So what did you do today? Uh, I worked on the supports for the the upper aft deck. Well, you love this now. This is her spot. I know she's looking for S E A L S. You guys want to see something funny? Otherwise known as elephants. You guys want to? See, yeah, we've been calling S E A L S elephants. But you guys want to see something funny? Are you ready? Should we do it, Blaine? Oh, this is gonna hurt. <gasps> Maggie, is there a seal? Where's the seal? She protects us from the seals. Oh, she's going. Where's the seal? Do you see it? Hey, you're good, Maggie. It's all gone. All gone, Maggie. See, I don't even use the tone of voice going, oh my God, look at this. Like, I don't even do that. You just say that word. So now we call them elephants. elephants. So when we see one, we say, oh yeah, look, there's an elephant. And she hasn't caught on to that one yet. He's still back there. <laughs> She's still looking for it. He's packing all. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and help your dad and hold his rod, okay? Okay. You're gonna have to get a good hold of my shaft. See? <laughs> and now it's just got dirty. When is it ever not? Not on this boat, you guys are all so dirty-minded. 
Just like sure that. I centered? Oh, I think I lost it. What am I centering it on? The, the rail. Got it. Okay. Okay. Precarious come across the right now. Seriously? It's been there all day long. We make the bolt bigger. No. Not, not dealing with that. That's too much time. No. I was just thinking another. No. We can get a vice grip and clamp to it. Oh, there we go. But I have no idea where a vice grip is, and I don't feel like this is. Oh, this work? No. Okay, you stand up here and you get them prepped and then I'll clamp this on once you're in place. Then I'm not going okay. to disturb it. there and maybe one more up top. But then we're good for the night. I think so. your dinner is going to be ready about then. Uh, Close enough. We are not a mega yacht. Say that. We are, we are not, not a mega, mega yacht. yacht. We are not a mega yacht. And that's really hard to do because we're used to work on a mega yacht. That's how we met. So when we work on boats, we want to have it just like right perfect with like, you know, all the heads of the screws lined up, everything absolutely perfect, everything. We are not a mega yacht. We are a 1969 aluminum adventure boat now. <laughs> That's right. Adventure boat. Prevent it from terminating. That's a good trick. Ah! Clip. Seriously. You hit it with your hip. First of all, we're sorry the generator is running in the background. It is winter here, and Blaine's solar panels are just not doing it. Not anymore. Yeah. And as soon as that sun starts to go away, solar panels don't work very well. You know, the irradiance has, what is it, lowered? Is it called irradiance? Yep. Yeah. So it's pouring rain out, but we have our canvas up, which is amazing. It's keeping our up deck dry. And then we sat here thinking, you know, it's 11.30, we have done nothing this morning because it is Amer or American, Canadian Thanksgiving, which means we have to stay off. So I said, I, pr I proposed that we clean up from the summer for two hours. 
Which is a pretty good idea. And then the rest of the day is ours. And we're going to start at the bow. Yeah. Because and hopefully you, we can get rid of some of this main salon stuff yes. too. Because when you do a refit, the tools you take out never go back to where they're supposed to be. No. So that's the plan for this morning. You guys ready? Oh, I don't have the front going anymore. Okay, guys, we're going to get some good 90s music going to clean. You're not going to be able to hear it because YouTube doesn't allow us. So I'm going to put on some random fun 90s music from Epidemic, but actually not the ones we're going to listen to. Let's go clean. Izzy is going to be cleaning up her mess today. It's very pink, though. Oh, this is her new headphones or her new speaker. Very cute. Her headphones. So before we get big pink bunny. Nice, Look at all the stuff she's got. She's got a plant in that corner and all her little characters. She's got to clean up in here though. Before we get cracking, I'm gonna go pour another quick pot of coffee. We could do a hot chocolate after we clean. Could do that too. But oh, you can go put on some more coffee. It's too bad we have no more Baileys, because that would be good after this. <laughs> Okay, let me show you guys where we're at before we put on the music. This is our storage area, but it's all a mess. Like, look, we've got wire everywhere, so we've got to sort this back out and maybe bring our toolkits back out because all the tools were taken out of there and they're everywhere. So I think first priority is going to be taking those out of here and maybe getting a big garbage bag. And then this is... Oh, I can turn this. This is our four peak. Um, we want to be able to organize this. All these cushions can be in here and then look at all the spare parts we have. So I think we're going to do a massive throw out of stuff, but we'll see how it goes. <sighs> Sometimes I just don't know where to start. I think starting though, we'll be moving the toolbox out here. Okay, now we tackle this. You know how we tackle this? Well, with a Marvel movie. Let's put on a Marvel movie. Sure. What do you think? Sure. It's still pissing down rain. We're gonna pour ourselves a cup of tea and we're gonna put on a Marvel movie and sort through bolts and screws and a lot of stuff. I think that's a good plan, Blade. So I have a bit of a dilemma. There's this crab trap, excuse me. There's this crab trap just off of our boat. I know it's a crab trap because I already pulled it up um, because I thought it was just a floating uh, fender, but it's been drifting in and there's a bunch of crabs in it. Um, it is not touching the bottom. I feel like the crabs should be released. What do you guys think? Do I pull it up? There's no name on it. I don't know whose trap it is but I feel bad for the little crabbies in it. So I think I'm gonna go pull it up, um, post on our Facebook page that I have this trap and throw all the little crabbies overboard. What do you guys think? Let's do it. Okay, that's cool. It's a leaf underwater, Lane. leaves float underwater that was pretty cool okay hold on let me grab the dinghy Let's go get this trap I think what I'll do is I'll drive backwards to the boat with the crab trap in the water You like that? Yeah. Like the uh, method you've got there. Um. 
Hold my bow. Uh. Oh, friggin'. Friggin', friggin', fuck it. Okay, let my bow go. I'll let my string go. Thank you. Tie me up, baby. Crabbies are too small, they need to As they're drifting around in the ocean, they are so far away from their home, probably. Okay. Maybe it's here. I know how to use this trap. Oh, I see it. This one's the... <sighs> They're not even the right size. That one might be. There's one in behind the door. These ones are going walk. Ah, oh, wait! Come back here! <sighs> Get in! We got crabs everywhere! Tank has got crabs. Ooh, that one's. It died just missing a claw. Okay, I think I got them all except for the one that's behind the door. Oh no, he's gone. Where'd he go? Okay, I think I got rid of all the crabs except for this one big one. I'm gonna post on the Facebook group. Um, who's this is and maybe somebody will come forward and I'll give them their big crap after I put them in some water Every one of all, all those other ones were too small to keep so The guy whoever's trapped this is and shouldn't be too mad at me. At least I kept one of them as it drifted past Okay Get in there. Ah! Okay, you just stay in there, dude Okay, I need to get my phone. And we're gonna do something with this dinghy. Blaine is pumping it out. There's uh, the motor. Remember, we took the propeller off to put on the one that I destroyed. And now we're gonna figure out how we're gonna fix this motor. Cause it is foobard. Right, Blaine? Yeah. Foobard. We're gonna find out how badly foobard it is. Oh. That just looks really expensive to me. So what I'm going to do is I need you up on the crane controls. You're going to lift up on the motor and then once the motor is off the tender and hanging, I need you to grab onto the cable. So you'll leave the controls up front, grab the cable. I'll switch tenders and then you can go back up to the controls and we'll lower it down. Into the, the, okay, uh, question. Into the Where are the controllers? On the They're roof? They're hanging in front of the door. In front of the door. Yep. Okay. Ready to rock and roll. Okay. All right. Go up. Okay, that's probably good for now. Then you can come back and grab this. Then you can come around and grab this. Thank gosh we have a crane. Durba, because she needs to be fixed. You sure we just can't fix it on the boat? We've been through this! Yep. 
motor out. I'm anticipating it's gonna be very heavy. It is. Uh, what are you eating? Actually, it's my favorite that she's eating mashed up hard boiled eggs with butter. My mommy used to make them for me. I love them. Oh, you almost went overboard, dog. You see that? I was sitting down, the dog ran right behind me, and my butt almost pushed her overboard again. It's happened before. So what do we anticipate is wrong with this engine? Well, I'm thinking it's got a bad rod bearing because this thing was notorious for making oil. That's when gasoline sneaks past the rings and makes the oil level go up. Is it fixable? Anything's fixable. I wish you guys could see this. It's like 8.30 night and we are rolling all over the place. Maggie is not happy. And we are flying around. But I can't show you. All I know is we're spinning galore. Let's go see if I can go inside. <laughs> yeah, no, we're just gonna rock and rock and roll. See how much rain there is coming down on our new canvas. But we are spinning so much in this bay right now. You see the dinghies? Oh, I know, Megs. Are you okay? Here, let's go inside. Come on. I know, you don't like this. Go in. There we go. Okay, when it's this cold out and yucky and rainy, the best thing to do is turn on the electric blanket and go to bed. I have the dog. When the energy... It's storming out. It's a little rolly. Oh. She's probably nervous. She's not happy. You should see it outside. I know, she's not happy. She tried to crawl up under Izzy. She likes snuggling when she's scared. Is my electric blanket on? I don't know, have a check. Oh. Quarter after 11, I just woke up and Blaine's not in bed. I found him. What are you doing? Checking everything out. We're rocking a bit. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, that was a big one. Woo! <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna close the cupboards. Oh, it's gonna be a long night. Something ticking over there too. I don't know what it is. This is gonna be one of those hard to sleep nights. Okay, 1.30 in the morning. Holy crap. It is way bad out here. Like it is Wow. We just had to go close a locker that has swung open. We are I don't even know how bad it's blowing. It's crazy. I don't even know if boats are dragging around us or what's happening, but this wind is huge. The boat behind us looks like it is sailing. It's going bang, bang, bang. It's a big like 50 foot Pharaoh cement sailboat. It's moving all over the place. We are pointing straight north. And the wind's flying past. I wish you guys could see it. 
It's really dark out there. I'm up because Blaine wanted to go fix a locker that had blown open. And uh, the rule is when it's weather like this, no one goes outside without the other person awake or watching. How you doing? Good. I'm glad we charged the batteries right up last time just in case we got a fire an engine or something. It's, it is. I know we got water coming across our galley floor there. We just oh, don't know where it's from. Right here. Oh, there Keep we go. The window. Window's leaking. I'm gonna stay up for a little bit until this maybe subsides a little oh, bit. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Um, you can go back to bed. I'll give you a shot if I need anything. He had to wake me up. I had my earplugs in. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to you and I, you, no response. I had to do the. Okay. All right. You're good? Go back to bed. I'm just gonna sit on the pilot house for a bit and monitor the situation. And I will not go outside unless I pick you up. Okay. That was an absolutely crazy night and it's still blowing a hooli out here. Holy cow. And we have to go into shore with dress clothes for a celebration of life for a friend of ours. Our dinghy has about this much water in it from the rain last night. It was blowing all over the place. It looks like all the boats are still in the bay, but I feel bad for the sailboats behind us. They did not have a fun night last night. And Maggie. Maggie did not have a fun night last night. Either. Maggie did not have a fun night last night. She's like, you guys saved me. Take me to shore now. How much water do we have? Good job. The other tender is floating. No clue if all the boats are still here in the anchorage. Doesn't look like anybody's on shore, but um, wowzers. It's a little bit of a rough night. That poor boat, Peregrine Falcon, they seriously look like they were like at sea in massive swells. They were flying up and down. I couldn't even imagine sleeping on that last night. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't even look, they're the okay on our roof. This will be a challenge. Perfect, so I can catch you calling in. You gotta time it, baby, and then you have to commit. <laughs> Look, after storm rainbow. It's a double? Whoa, that was cool. It's a full rainbow. Okay, that's really pretty. 